All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here on Nelly. How all my adventures doing? So, it is time to see if we can tackle uh, Mechanical Fortress. Then after Mechanical Fortress, we're going to head to um, the next dungeon even up. Oh uh, yeah, it'll be Phoenix Hour. Uh, we're going to probably skip Phoenix Hour for a little bit. Until we get to level 71 and see if we can find the level 71 sprite. As I say, I've been waiting for auction to show up, but not many people in auction are selling the ones I'm looking for. I mean, there was a, like a level 67 sprite, but then again, there is also the level 71 sprite that um that is in the Eternal Mountain altar. I want to see. How fast do I kill for this? Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Wait, um... You guys drop those? I don't remember them dropping that at all, but okay. Okay, so far, so good. Nothing like extremely damaging. But this is what I'm mostly curious about. How fast can I kill this thing? Oh, okay. Thank God. This actually might be a lot easier. Okay, why am I walking towards it? Stop. Ooh, yep. So does does thousand damage. <clears throat> That's I say I was pushing one of my melee skills. <laughs> Regret that. So I'm curious about you. Yeah, you guys just dropped those. Okay, I didn't know that. I think that's my first time actually getting that. Am I still in the same stuff? Okay, no, I just changed back. Yeah, this is a lot easier. Okay, okay, okay. Here's the thing. Oh, well. I can also send in pet, too. Have him soak up the starting of that. Yeah, that actually works a lot better than I thought. That's what I'm saying, dude. This dungeon, these stupid guardian bits are strong as hell versus like anybody who has low magic resist. And as you can see, I have like freaking 3,000. You should definitely have higher when entering this dungeon, but right now I have 3,000. This might actually go a lot faster than what I was originally thinking. I do just want to touch level 70 now. So I can get my, uh, my bow.
So I think I'm going to full clear this. Also drinking water. Oh, god darn it. Is it muni again? Oh, I was wondering. What the hell is, is the music for this dungeon? I don't know why. If you leave it, like, slightly low and bring up the game again, it starts to get, like... <laughs> It starts to mute itself the next time you open it. First part of the dungeon I'm not worried about too much, honestly. I don't think this is gonna kill. I think this is gonna get me killed, but you know, limit testing. Oh, God damn it. My stupid ass just decides to run up on him again. Because apparently I don't get the concept of death. I might actually change this and just manually use my melees. Cause I like my fingers being above my movement keys instead of like being at a weird angle. I think that would be a lot easier for myself. Plus, I don't accidentally use them for uh, bosses, and they can't be affected by it.
And this way, it sets me up to where I know to use certain abilities. Because now, with it being in reach, I can use my uh, chart skills a lot more. Get that mindset in. Okay, so where am I? Oh, yeah, I gotta go all the way back around to get my uh, stuff later. Always try to pull clear. Sure, if I remember correctly, isn't the first boss has a reflection uh, skill? Pretty sure he does. I mean, at this speed, I might as I might complete this dungeon. Let's take a sip of water. Uh. Set out. That's a necromancer shirt. That looks nothing like a necromancer shirt, but this would have been great to have, though. Because having that many stats on the shirt like that is great. What else do I need to get rid of? Shoes, right? Yeah, shoes. I think I have yet to find shoes, though. forgot about that. Um, fuse. This. Damn, I really thought more of was gonna walk up. Say good job, Bagel. You actually stunned. I'm proud of you. I said I could use a potion. I also could use this too. <laughs> I could have. <sighs> okay. Come on. 
give this to you since you're pretty low. Yeah, this is the boss after reflect. I gotta be careful with this. Or I'm gonna be having a long walk out of here. You guys need to know, the keys are on the other side of this. It's it's a uh, set spawn. That's one good thing you don't have to worry about is looking fortress. Kill Bagel? Yeah, they did. Yeah, there's a reflect. Very 100% chance of reflecting. I wish that skill went on. I wish some of their skills went on cooldown, dude. Now he's fighting Bagel for a while. I'm trying to see the bleed. I'm not going to attack him in the fear of getting, uh, reflected. There we go. At least trying to poison. There we go. No reflect. We're good. Alright, so that went a lot better than I thought. He still does hit hard. He still does hit very, very hard. Uh, what if there are more goblins in here? I'll always, I'll always take the extra XP. Nah, Bagel went to go attack the Orbian that killed him. That's crazy. I guess I can use one of these and use these just to make some room. But I should have been using them anyway. I don't know how long I've been holding on to those damn things. <laughs> Oh yeah, also they gave me the 72 hour increase. Okay, there we go. There is XP. Yeah, I should have used that at the start. How much movement speed did I give? Three? Hmm. When casting the skill, get 1% of energy bad. Oh, and HP. So life still and mana still. That's actually extremely good. And this goes for 12 hours. That's a really good item. If only it was something you could actually craft. That would actually be amazing.
No, I was never told. Like, what's the chance of this bleed proc? Because this bleed proc doesn't pop up very often. On bosses, it goes up to two. I always see it go up to two, but on normal enemies, it doesn't surpass. Okay, no, it just did. What's the chance and percentage of it? I need to know. Oh, am I still using Shackle? Thought I changed it for like this. Still no shoes. Damn, have I even gotten a single shoe? I don't think so. sure I got rid of all the greens. I can just start replacing uh, stuff that I don't need. Lightning damage deal a lot of damage to robots. If we're gonna use that logic. <laughs> Uh, what altar did these go to? Oh, these go to the uh, silence. Okay. You need to find a dungeon that goes to the Eternal Mountains. That give like concentrated power to the Eternal Mountains. That's the one thing I never like really touched on my druid. Was the Eternal Mountain altar. Even though it's really good for certain certain characters. Cool classes. Damn, I wish I got another AoE. Other than uh Strike, actually. Strike of disarray. Some of these names. Uh I say, technically, I could scavenge this. It wouldn't give me anything that I need, so. Yeah. Just get rid of it. 
because I will not be going back to that set. I'd say Dungeon Gear is just fine. Okay, we're, we're at a level in here, thankfully. Not really, where are the pants? Well, not pants, shoes. Does this dungeon not spawn shoes? Okay, bees only give the heads. Okay, I was trying to see what their range was for not hitting me. Apparently non-existent. It's still going to hit me. Maybe I don't have to use an item. I guess I should use one of these potions too. Just give that a little bit of extra. And let's say use this too. Right about this time. There's always two of you that survive, huh? Oh, I thought I was hitting the right button. Apparently I was not. Okay. Too close. Like, motherfucker, he is not. <laughs> You've been firing at the range since we got in here. All of a sudden, it's like, nah, dude, that's too close. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I do need to get a lot rid of a lot of potions, though. But since we're making a lot of progress, it's... It's basically that potion... Those potions will always keep randomly popping up. Like, each tier that I go through. I think I can get rid of these. I will say for this dungeon, I don't think I'm going to need these. I normally like selling potions because the late game potions are like very gold heavy. Especially if you're farming, you get a whole bunch of gold. Well, you get a whole bunch of um, potions. You could sell them for a pretty high amount. That's just off of, uh, like, just farming them. I think a pile of, uh, level 90 potions go for, like, at least 
I want to say it's too high. Like 100 gold if you sell them to a normal uh, vendor or a merchant. Wait, I never used this? Oh my god. <laughs> I have to come back and kill him. I thought I used it. Apparently I did not. They thought I used it now. Because... That, that boss I fought was probably one of the least annoying ones. Happy I used it before the next two. I could just always just walk back in here and complete the other one. Plus it doesn't take much clearing to get to that boss. Vitality, agility. Hello? I was about to say game. I've been pushing tab. That hammer is actually pretty decent. I might just sell that. Like anything without stats, I can get rid of. Honestly. Cause you also gotta think about it. Think about one more thing. Some people do power level. And if you're power leveling, it is enticing for those people who power level to uh, that to buy those gears. Because some of these people are absurd. <laughs> some of them will. Let's get rid of that. Some of them would level, then forget they have to up upgrade their gear. And it's not easy to upgrade gear in this game. Unless you already have a, a sprite prepared and plan on just sitting there for hours trying to craft your gear. Because you're going to need the gold. It's also another thing. How much gold does this give anyway? Oh, 120? Okay. Uh, each judge can be repeated up to 10 times. But you can only do up to uh, 45 dungeons, if I remember correctly. Forty-five dungeons a day. So if you're if you're like a really heavy goat farmer or you're with a duo and you guys need goat rerunning dungeons is definitely a good way to get goat. I thought I hit that one. 
Apparently I did not. Kinda wish Silent Strike actually increased in radius. We upgraded it. How many of my gloves are showing up? I would be sad to let the HP go. I'd say plus this. The one I have has way, way better stats. Like, I need that agility and strength, so I'm going to keep that for this. Oh, what's this one? Okay, that's something I can't use. Let's see. I can get rid of this one, because that's the weaker. That one's pretty meh. That one's actually pretty good. This actually has a lot of stuff that a Berserker would want. So I'm going to keep that. I told you guys this dungeon is pretty long. Hopefully, I can finish it before I have to go to work. <laughs> but then again, I am full clearing. Okay, resist to all. That's a good stat. Not sure how many newer players will even grab this. About thinking about the all damage reduction. Most players who know about the struggle of this game will definitely pick that up. So probably somebody who's already a veteran would grab it. Especially if they're looking to change out from their set that is definitely out of a uh, out of date. I like clearing these rooms just in case I have to kite back out. And by the gods, I'll probably have to kite back out. Okay, so.
Huh. Yeah, I think the poison, like, from um, strategic talent actually does screw me over. Dude, I think it's actually trying to do that physical damage. So. Yeah, I think this is terrible to, cur to keep. I'm pretty sure that poison just keeps going. Yikes. I like it for that physical and range, but that... That causing damage, like, her range is a big deal breaker there. That is, that is not good. Hmm. I'm not saying right. Chance wouldn't be bad, but damn. Only that didn't do what I, what I really hate. Like, man. With a cooldown of four seconds. Huh, I guess that's what it's been doing? How long is four seconds for this damn thing? Get rid of the jelly coins. I don't know why I have those. I go grab those. I got there. We're gonna grab as many keys as we can. Am I really that close to you? Yes, so. Grabbing a bunch of keys because I'm not sure about the final boss. If I can kill it. I guess I should pick up all the keys. Just in case I do get wiped in the second part. Okay, I'm just practically getting rid of gear now. I need to calm down. That's not something I want to hold on to. I was like, I'm also trying to find gear that I actually want to sell. And I feel like people would be interested in. So I hope I didn't get rid of anything that was actually really good.
Shazar Selenese. I say powers actually go for a lot. Or supposed to go for a lot. But I, I sell them pretty cheap. Because you gotta think about it. Uh, level 1 goes for 50 gold just from buying it from a vendor. Uh, I say level 2 should at least go for 100. <laughs> Because level 2 is going to only be farmed. I'm going to figure out where to use these damn pieces. Oh, he wants as many as possible. Instead of going... Uh, I was going to say, instead of going that way, I could go the other way. But this way is a lot shorter <laughs> instead of walking all the way around. I could leave the dungeon, actually, and walk all the way back through. Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, never mind. It's over here. This is how you get to the second, second place. I don't know why I was trying to go back out. So later I need to redo this dungeon and go fight them again to get my repeat quest. Maybe I'll have enough time. Maybe it'll take like 20 minutes. I would have had a lot more time if I didn't procrastinate. <laughs> Did it take away all my stuff? I think it did. I think once I scene changed, it took away all of it. That sucks. Um, uh, I think I would want the damage if anything, because I crit quite a bit with this bow. But then again, that's the issue. There's no slots in any of my gear. Oh, except for this, actually. Um, it's gonna be a while since I've change my sword out so again, I'm gonna put in this in here in here and this in here I didn't I didn't realize that sword had a uh, slots on it so we need to go this way Oh yeah, that's a lot better. More crit chance too. Ah, oh, full stamina. What about you? Yep. Bring you out. You start grabbing gear now. I was about to say, did he not get stunned? Yeah, 
And hopefully these guys don't spawn the goblins. Yeah, avoid getting hit by those. Those actually deal a lot of damage. Maybe I'm going to try Speedy. Yeah, I lose like a like 4,000 damage when I change the Speedy. But then again, the evasion is actually really good. My attack speed will be really good. Plus I have double damage. So it's technically more DPS. I feel uncomfortable using this though. Because <laughs> I was actually enjoying watching that 300. I'm actually not sure. Does that kill faster? Alright, let's see. That, okay, I actually lose a lot more than just 4,000 if I use that. I don't know. I feel like I need to upgrade um, Quick Draw for it to actually like, be really good. I will say this, if a boss has Reflect, I'm changing that. We're going to see if it actually is Reflect damage. If it actually is reflecting like, Reflect damage, or if it's just Bagel. Because it could be just Bagel. Or... No, Bagel shouldn't be re... giving me Reflect damage. So I think it is the poison. Well, the bleed. This is the saying is dealing my uh, my archer damage. Oh yeah, my XP wore off. My XP boost. Oh yeah, um, for newer players, if you are offline, um, your buffs do not take down. So, there is strategy to that if you're just like planning a raid with friends or something. You don't have to worry about that tick down. Yeah, this boss does summon minions. That it gives a cape too. Ah, oh, this is a. It drops a book? Okay, interesting. So what do you have? Okay, you can hit up three times. 
magic barrier, and you could paralyze me. Hmm. Okay, so there is no, uh... We'll play damage, so I'm gonna use this. I would say, yeah, I was take a lot of damage there. Damn, I wish it would have got a, gave me a better sword. Damn. And if that was blue, I would have been happy. But it is not. So I do not care. Hmm. Ah, never mind. I thought that was for, like, Sage. Only has one skill anyway. Um, But the HP and mana is actually pretty good. A lot of decent ones are showing up, which is kind of crazy to me. I'm jealous of this because if I would have had a berserker, I definitely would have put this on. I just realized that my uh, my defense were off too. I think it did. So that's also another thing. A close range exhaust would be great. Okay, we did a quest. I don't know what we got out of that quest. I think I can get rid of these swords too. What's this? Okay. This is... This has my stuff on it. Ah, uh, sleep, but... Ooh. I was about to say, uh, Misfortune could be great. I lose mana, but mana isn't my main focus right now. I gain agility off of that, so, yeah, why not? I like Misfortune, Misfortune under, yeah. I like Misfortune other than Sleep, because if I hit an enemy that is Sleep, is really no point to it because <laughs> i'm just gonna automatically wake them up this fortune on her other hand will screw them over big time what in the pants oh that's a necromancer <laughs> it's almost sturdy i got everything Defense. You gotta be careful not to get overwhelmed, too. That's another thing. Okay. 
I'm gonna use that. Because you could get very overwhelmed inside of this dungeon if you started getting ganged up on. Uh, I can get rid of that. That's dog shit. Uh, this is for a set. God damn. Okay. This has several different abilities to it. Why not? This is only good for bird form, Sage. Oh, damn, that despawned. That's fine. Ooh, Viper armor. Terrible. Well, the evasion on it's not terrible, but meh, you can find better, that's for sure. I do love the Grand Fantasia for its like RNG gear. Just finding gear with like random stats on it. Man, if somebody could make like a Grand Fantasia with like actual like cool dungeon gear that you could farm as well that would be great yeah what do you have oh uh, you drop shoes uh what shoes am i looking for none apparently you you apparently don't drop my shoes that's crazy but you do drop a gun. Oh no, you do drop my shoes, I think. Nope. Damn, dude, that's crazy how you're against dropping my damn shoes. But anywho, what do you have? Okay. Okay, more damage you can build. Okay, so nothing too wild. Thankfully. Now oh, that uh, partial release is, is up, so It's always good to get Bagel to soak up, uh, to soak up start off damage. Ah, oh, a crit reduction hat too. I don't want to get rid of anything that's damage reduction. <laughs> like I said, a lot of players know how late game could be with a uh, damage reduction. I can get rid of this. It's going to be a while before that even comes up again. What time is it? Oof. I'm cutting it close. I'm cutting it very close. <laughs> then I immediately got to go put on clothes. And get ready for work. The things I do for you guys. Yeah, sure, appreciate me. <laughs> uh, I think this is the boss that's very annoying to deal with. This is the final boss of this dungeon and can be. Extremely strong is what I want to say. It's either between your. I think it's Reflect. Or either it's an AoE he does that hits me multiple times that I, ha I have to stay out of. 
like a hunter shoes. Hold on. Where did this go? Damn it. Of course. Of course it would be the assassin. The stats are meh. Okay, magic decrease in eh. But the magic attack decrease is good. For an enemy that you're fighting. But it's kinda like meh. Oh, it gives all six. Day six. Burn six, free six. Mmm. 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 I wish instead of just debuffs, it gave buffs too. Like, this has a 5% chance of increasing this damage instead of just all debuffs towards enemies that attack you. No time for the full clear, bro. Have to keep going. I say around this time I normally sell the gear for like 10, 10 gold. Just because this is where people start start the power level. Well normally they end their power leveling here because it takes forever and gold starts to increase. I see that there is you up there, and you're not slick. I definitely saw you. <laughs> uh, really? You're gonna give me this now? Stop. I'm inside of a dungeon. Can you chill? Ain't nobody's gonna be trying to do this crap inside of a dungeon. I think people are really gonna AFK in a dungeon. Shit doesn't respawn in here. More assassin clothes. Eh. I thought I was locked on you. Mm, I'm not looking forward to this. My kite is gonna be have to be elite. But the thing is, I do like this boss. It's, this boss design is actually like pretty epic, especially for a mech. slightest. I'm going to have to clear this room out because I'm going to be kiting a lot in here.
I was about to say, damn it, I wasn't trying to hit them. Okay. This is going to be annoying. Okay, you do give shoes. There are my shoes, okay, Windwalker. Yep, reflect damage. Mmm. He does have it. Oh, dear God. Oh, yeah, this is not going to be fun. And he does have damage increased and reduce all damage. Oh, but he receives more damage, actually. So I can run. Run and gun him, basically. So I might want to take off strategists. And put on Phantom. Yeah, Phantom will probably help me out a lot more. So, he does have barrier by default, right? Yes, he does. This is going to be annoying. Ah, uh, he used it immediately. That's absurd that he used it immediately. Ah, uh, he has the drag back. That's so annoying. I didn't realize you had the drag back, too. He has misfortune. Good, good, good. At least gotta keep poison on him. Oh, wait, he killed my fucking bagel already. Ah, oh, God, he has it. This is not good. Wait, what? You could hit me from this range? How? Oh, God. Uh, character? What are you doing? Why can't you move? Um, the fuck was that? I don't have enough time to summon clone. That's the... Yeah, I don't have enough time to actually use that ability. Damn, dude. I did not know that he had a pull okay so every dungeon boss has a pull towards you why what's the point of giving everybody a fucking pull ah oh, that's such a nuisance thing dude why does everybody have a damn pull I told you I was going to die in this, just because of that Reflect, too. That Reflect is fucking ridiculous. Not only that, I'm taking a lot of damage as well. No matter if I have damage reduction or not. Like, I just don't feel comfortable attacking it if, if Reflect is a thing. Damn it, I want to be level 72, because that... That would actually decrease it by so much more. I think I would have probably have like 80. 80%. No, probably 70. No, 67% of physical damage reduction from that bow. Also, it would be doing a lot more damage. Okay, this is going to be... I was to say, maybe this will be the last one I do before I get ready for work. What's also sucks, we don't have our healing. 
have a healing ability either. So that's also another thing. So we just can't just be healing in the middle of battle, which sucks tremendously for us. I feel like I probably could kill him with um with the strategist, but like I said, dude, it, it causes so many issues if I was to do that. Cause the strategist puts you in like such a predicament to where you're receiving way more damage than you want. Like, honestly, I feel like it's the best one, but at the same time, dude, that bleed is nothing to scuff at. Oh, shit. Especially if it's, like... Especially if it's doing what I think it's doing. If I am actually taking damage from that bleed, that is stupid. Because poison doesn't do that. Why is bleeding doing it? I say if we don't, if we aren't able to do this, I'll come back to it after um, after I reach level seventy, or I'll probably try to clear this again, like full clear it when I get off work. Then I'll just basically make a video of where I last stopped. With all these attack speed um, buffs, I don't feel like I attack fast enough at all. Yeah, you know I was gonna say I don't feel like I, I really attack all that fast. So maybe I just gotta, all in the hell out of this. I said I had no time to summon my uh, figure because there were like just enemies everywhere. And they all deal like a thousand and the boss deals like five thousand. Bagel died instantly. So that wasn't good. That was crazy. It says nothing about the mobs they spawn to. I feel like that should be a thing. Like I need to know what type of mobs that they're they are summoning. Oh, every 50 seconds, so I have to kill him like quickly. Before that ability shows up, because I'm pretty sure that's a very, very long buff. Yeah, 50 seconds. Well 15 seconds is absurd. So I actually have to do this as fast as possible.
Oh, there's that attack I don't like. You step in that, you take a lot of damage. Fuck! I couldn't stop the animation. Oh, I hate animations in this game. They take forever. And there's so much button delay, too. Just because of animations. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to come back to this. No shame in accepting defeat and just re re strategizing it. And I'm pretty sure the bleed did add on to that. Strat strategist or strat yeah, strategist or strategic is terrible for bosses with reflect. Would not recommend using it. Like, holy shit, I did not think it was gonna be that bad. It is. Yeah, we'll come back to that. Until then, I gotta get ready for work. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And maybe when we hit level 70, we'll come back and revisit this. Uh, but yeah, peace. All right. Hey, guys, what's up? I'm back uh, after like a few days. This is like part two of this video. I just wanted to be known that um, I am doing voice voiceover for this part because uh, my audio didn't turn on for this so yeah this is actually a lot more useful though because i did start battling on around in different areas so i don't have to go through all that i could just jump cut and cut things out but um right here i did spend a few days to try and find a reasonable price of um defense grade a scrolls People just kept putting them in for terrible prices. And I don't think I was around a level, around a good level to be able to farm those. So that was another thing that was um, also halting progress of making this video. So yeah, I ended up getting like 52 of those scrolls and max, well, not maxing, uh, trying to get the gear to at least plus five. That's always my goal with like any gear that I get is plus five because trying to go above that is going to be very late game heavy <laughs> is what I want to say. But I will give you guys a tip that I said in this video earlier. Save your orange gear so you don't have to recraft it area. Recraft it later. I will say save your level 50 and up gear i say it's easy to remake the lower tiers tier gear um put them all inside of your bank when you're done i think that's the only thing that should be in your bank is those items um that you might have some other items that you're gonna need but it's Damn, this is actually like very difficult because I wish there was like a share bank to where you could share between your account. It would make life so much freaking easier, but I don't know why that's not a thing instead of just, you know, what players are doing right now or sending all of their, you know, unnecessary things they don't need right now to like a trash character or a mule. Which it costs to do that because you have to send through mail to that character and it costs, it starts going up depending on the value of that item. So, not fun to deal with at all. But save that gear, start putting it inside of your bank. Uh, there is no archive for it. I don't know why they don't make an archive for orange gear. It would, it would make sense considering that most players still use orange gear along with the yellow gear as a combination, but for them i guess it's just not that valuable to make i mean it's also not that valuable for them to make an archive for the um spiral spire accessories too apparently since those are pretty unique as well as items but you know to each their own i guess but um yeah we're doing the gear uh i think we're gonna jump cut to me catching up in a dungeon because I still need to fight that first boss. That first boss is actually something I missed because I didn't use my mission order from the hunting board until like after I beat this boss. So I had to come back here and beat this either way. 
So, yeah, sucks to be me. So, I had plans on killing everything in this dungeon just to get to level 70. And once I hit level 70, I would use my, um, my level 70 bow inside of my archive. Because, like I said, I'm not crafting that again because resources. And I'm just going to tell you, it's going to be as bad as as the um, level 50 bow. Well, it's not going to be as bad. It's going to actually be a lot worse because of gold. And that, actu that gold actually does jump up by like, I think, 100 or so. It is not fun crafting yellow or purple or red gear. They are extremely expensive. I think red gear per like making is like a thousand and eight hundred gold. You still have a large chance of fell it, which in in its own sucks. I don't know why it's a thing because in any other game, you don't have a chance to fail crafting it. You have a fail chance of enhancing it which makes sense but for grand Vantasia, it is an older style game that will punish you for getting those resources but this is a system that's already built in the grand Fantasia, and it's not going to change at all never ever because what's going to happen to blessings what's going to happen to the sprite king blessings what are those going to transform into a guarantee like I guess enhance. I mean, we already have enhanced stones. Uh, it, it's not going to change any anytime soon. Okay, but anywho, as we defeated the boss, I want it to be known that if you are playing Ranger and you haven't figured it out by now, um, yeah, strategic sniper talent combo that gives bleed. That bleed all <laughs> that bleed gets reflected. By the way. If a boss has a reflective buff or passive, you will be taking damage from from that bleeding. You don't take damage from poison, which is funny, but for some reason they made it to where this bleed effect that is for ranger only. So far, I've only seen bleeding on ranger. They apparently want... <laughs> Want it to be reflective because it reflects my range damage. Well, 50% of my range damage. Uh, every few seconds, which, well, every four seconds, I think. No, it's not every four seconds. Every second, it, ref it does 50% of my range damage. Which is nice on enemies that don't reflect. It's really nice when enemies don't, don't reflect. But overall, I think Phantom Archer is great for me when I'm not, when I'm fighting like a reflective boss. I mean, obviously. But uh, Jesus Christ, I didn't, I didn't think it was going to be chunking me for 700 per tick of that. And it. it it hurts it hurts a lot because <laughs> you guys were looking at that and saw it chunk me for so much but um yeah let's go ahead and keep on going through this dungeon because we also have the other bosses okay i'm kind of skipping ahead through most of these bosses just because i have to <laughs> well this video is already long enough it's it's almost like an hour and a half no it's two hours right now as I'm recording and editing it down. It was originally three hours because the last footage that I had recorded was two hours. So it was nearly, actually it was nearly five hours, nearly. But it stopped at three. No, not five. It was nearly four hours, but it stopped at three. So yeah, I'm cutting down a lot of this massively. So we finished that boss and I do want to say another thing that I was talking about in this video. Uh, another thing that is actually pretty rare in a game is a certain title called The Rogue Knight. If you guys have seen this title, it's actually very popular among the community, but you cannot get it anymore because it was GM Wish only. And this was when um, Grand Fantasia was under Area Games. 
you can no longer get this title. It is no longer available along with a lot of the GM exclusive GM wish exclusive titles. So if you lost your account during that transfer, good luck ever. So I will say that, I mean, so if you guys ever see that title and you want that title or Sprite Messenger title, the Sprite Messenger is something. But it, it gave like a lot of defense stuff, whichever one that was. But Rogue, the reason why the Rogue Knight title is so good is because it gives 5% evasion and it also gives 5% speed. You, you're thinking to yourself, man, that's not all that good. Hold on. It also gives a 1% chance of decreasing the enemy's movement speed by 25%. You're also thinking that's pretty terrible too, since the 1%. This is the big thing. It has a chance of inflicting a poison on an enemy that deals 2.5% of that enemy's HP. And that's the main thing and reason why people love that ability. Because it's doing their max HP per three seconds. Every three seconds is dealing 2.5% damage. This is actually one of the best titles in the game. In a game to use. Messenger of Steel, that's what I'm thinking of. That that was also a really good defensive like title, but you can't get that anymore because that's also GM Wish titles. So yeah, I don't know when these will ever actually come back. Maybe if they update their website, which is probably in the works, who knows? But it it sucks to see that a lot of titles that were like really good are unavailable in like a free to play way. Because a lot of these titles are actually pretty insane and you can't get them, unfortunately. Uh, another thing that is actually, oh yeah, somebody was asking me if uh, talents were low drop rate. Talents are low drop rates, along with uh, sprite emblems, apparently. Sprite emblems are also low drop rate. It's because there's so much fodder inside of the purple chest that it's a lot harder to get these items to where it just plummets the rate of all the other items. So the seed... The little C pouch thing is a high rate. The scrolls are high rate. Those plummet the hell out of like all the rest of the items. So I would say really good luck. Also, not only that, the the little Pell stones as well plummet the rate of a lot of items too. It, it's this useless stuff that should be inside of one area of content. Like, it's already... The scrolls are already all over Infernal Dungeon. Half of the... Well, actually, a lot of the things are Infernal Dungeon. I mean, even the Pellstones are. And, and you really don't really need them, honestly. Uh, just so much useless fodder stuff. You know, it's it's life. Um, we're also... Wait, is this the last boss? I think... No, no, this is the second to last boss. Either that or I'm just farming out. But yeah, I'm farming and killing every enemy until I get to level 70. And I actually do end up doing that because I didn't think it, I would have like enough minions inside of this dungeon to be able to do it. But it turns out that I had more than enough because I completed that extra side because I figured out that... Uh, that justice actually spawns on two sides of the map has a chance of spawning on two sides of the map and i didn't know that so yeah this is the second boss no third technically but apparently yeah justice actually spawns on either the bottom right of the second map or the bottom top right of the second map so uh, he spawned on the top right. So I went through the top left first and got half of that XP. I was in there. 
then I got the rest of it from just going all the way back up. And it was like, she looked like very worth killing everything in here. If I would have ran through everything, I wouldn't have touched level 70 at all. All right, enough mumbling and giving my opinion. I know you guys don't want to hear it, but you know, I ADHD, my brain just starts saying everything that I'm thinking. But um, right here, uh, we're ready to fight Justice and see if we can actually kill him. I'm actually just checking last minute stats and stuff like that. So, uh, I think I was talking about something. I think I was looking at gear, making sure I had everything. Oh yeah, I was emptying, emptying my gear. Oh yeah, I was also talking about if I just re-ran this dungeon again, I would probably have enough stacks to sell for like at least 2,000. Well, enough, um, what was it? Sanctuary Essence? The Essence I get out of this dungeon. <laughs> And I just took a bunch of reflection damage there. So I feel like I'm in danger. So I actually started doing what I did last time. and started count kiting him. But I also, also got to remember I have life steal from the free item that they gave us. I actually have to avoid that attack because that is a multi-hit damage. And it will melt you if you're under it. So stay away from that circle if you can. Then I'm trying to avoid his reflection damage because I'm thinking to myself, okay, it's been a while since he used a reflect. He's probably going to use it again soon. But no, instead this jerk decides to use the, um, the damaging ability. His little high DPS ability. So he was ready to just put me on a t-shirt actually. Because if he would have been able to get that off, I would have died instantly. Because if I remember correctly, we looked at it earlier and that extra damage was not something we needed to take. So thankfully we killed him before any of that actually happened. So that's great. <sighs> I feel relieved at finishing this dungeon. I also did say this bow looks very cool. I like it. I actually thought that this bow gave um, reduction damage. Damage reduction to physical hit or physical damage. And apparently that doesn't, the evasion doesn't reduce uh, these guys from hitting me with AOE damage. <laughs> but um, it actually turns out that it reduces physical crit damage. And physical crit damage is more of a current thing than magic damage to be honest i think um half no i can't even say half more than 80 percent of the game is physical damage so you would normally more normally focus more on normal defense than you would magic defense but later on magic defense does become a crucial thing because then more magic units start to show up but in earlier to mid game, you're going to be mostly focusing on physical. Unless you're dealing, unless you're dealing with the guardian bits that are inside of this dungeon that hit very hard. So I'm basically wrapping up here. There's nothing else really much here. I do apologize if you guys didn't want me to, you know, use the archive stuff, but I don't want to go through the relentless motion of remaking a weapon I've already made. I, I just don't like doing that. I also grabbed out my uh, my swords I have in archive as well. Just to keep it up to date and keep the series going at a steady pace. And I know that pace is going to die off real soon. Which I hit level 81 because I'm going to have to make level 80 gear. If I don't already have a few, I don't think I do. I might. I don't know. I could. I forget a lot of things that are in my archive. It's only funny because my archive just hit like 3000 and I could be using the bonus 
for it, but I'm not going to because most players won't have that. But yeah, level crafting level 70, well, crafting yellow, purple, and red gear is a pain. Mostly purple and red. Purple and red are disgustingly annoying. So if you ever decide to make a purple or red gear, make sure to have a guarantee Sprite King for that guarantee craft. Do not risk trying to craft it without one of those guarantee weapon crafts. You will regret it. Also make sure that the level you're trying to craft is actually the, le <laughs> the level to it. Well, here's the thing. Let me just go ahead and explain it. There is a Sprite King that is only crafts level 75 and lower weapons guaranteed. If you try and do a level like 76 or 77, that is going to, that's going to fail. It's going to fail because it does not count towards what the item said. It said level 75. Anything above that will automatically fail. Make sure you're picking the right sprite. Check the crafting and see what level that weapon is before you craft it or buy a Sprite King blessing. Please. <laughs> this has happened a lot among the community. And it, it might keep happening, but this is just a warning towards that if you guys are still watching this video. But after defeating the boss, it will send you the stupid accessory scrolls, which are useless at that early game. I don't know why we get these at early game. They're, they aren't <laughs> useful to players who are around this level. Only like at least level 90 should we be receiving these because this actually starts, I think, for every dungeon, if I remember correctly, that you finish. It, they're completely useless. And I was thinking to myself, maybe maybe a blue what? blue trinket or a blue accessory actually, you know, uses this. I haven't seen any blue accessories with stars under them or completion value. So I don't I don't think um, I don't think this is a viable reward to be giving us once we complete like dungeons. I don't know why why they decided, you know what? That's what we should give newer players. These accessory scrolls that will confuse the shit out of them and they won't even know what to use them on or why they even have them. Just thought process of that situation just went out of the roof apparently. And I I literally sat here trying to figure out why why are we getting this early i was looking through each accessory and just trying to figure out if there was an accessory that's early early grab there isn't but yeah this is the end of the video i'm just checking my skills I also talked about tomes good luck farming tomes tomes are basically uh skills you're gonna have to farm you can actually find these on the grand fantasia database or the wiki of where you will find your tomes and what enemy drops your tomes. Uh, so you might realize that, you know, some skills are missing from your, uh, your skill tutor. That's because those skills are tomes. You will always be missing two skills because tomes. Good luck farming those. Those are pretty low drop rate as well. You might get lucky. You might not. Good luck farming it because it is taking me up to a maximum of two weeks for four hours of farming each day. Was not fun. Well, no, I think it was like a week and a half, a week to a week and a half. It'll probably take that long for four hours a day. But I digress. Good luck. Thumbs up. I don't want to go through that suffering, but I might have to later on. And I won't be happy. But yeah, um, 
I'm not sure how often I'll be posting Grand Fantasia videos, considering Grand Blue just. <laughs> Excuse me. Considering that Bland Grand Blue just came out, and I'm enjoying that, and Power World is still on our list of playing. So I've been playing a lot of sh stuff with friends. You guys have been seeing that on my days off, and I have about five days off right now as this video goes up. So you guys will be seeing a lot more streams of that. I'm gonna try and still make some Grand Fantasia videos. Do make sure to leave a like so I know that you guys are wanting more of this series and, you know, me experiencing more sharpshooter. Because at the end of this series, like I said, we are going to do private servers. Because we are going to try private servers to see what they are missing from the official server and why so many people are migrating to it and are enjoying those servers way more than the official. So that's going to be an interesting series and we're going to try and make a list of things that that server has that the fish can improve. With that said, until then, peace out.